Good morning, my friends, and welcome to our third reading lesson of the week. We know this week we have been talking about cause and effect. And as Ms. Murray has said every single day this week, cause and effect is a way for us to tell what happens and the reason why that what happens. So we are going to dive in. We've so far been thinking about cause and effect, looking at just like sentences, a couple sentences, one sentence, two sentences. But today we're gonna transfer those skills and see what happens when we read a story and how we can identify cause and effect as we read. So without further ado, we're gonna dive into a quick story called The Snowball Fight. Now, we're gonna read it together. And as we're reading, I want you to have the focus of, hmm, what is happening in this story and why are those things happening? So the snowball fight. It was winter, the snow fell and it was very cold. Tim and Mark put on their mittens and boots and went outside to make snowballs. Jan and Barb did the same. Jan ran out to throw a snowball, but she was not fast enough. Mark saw her and threw one first. It hit Jan and knocked her down. So we can see here, there's a lot of different things that are happening in the snowball fight. But I wanna zoom in on just one sentence. Now there's a bunch of cause and effects in this story, but when I'm reading through, I'm wanting to first identify what, um, what is happening, right? So the first thing we're reading, right? It was winter, the snow fell, and it was very cold. And, Tim and Mark put on their mittens and boots. Well, Tim and Mark put on their mittens and boots. Why did they put it on? Well, we can see in the sentence before, we can see in the sentence before that it was very cold, right? The snow had fallen and it was very cold. Because the snow had fallen and it was very cold, that cause, it led the children to put on their mittens and gloves. Now, after that, of course, we see that Jan and Barb are out and about um, with their friend Mark as well. And Jan tries to throw a snowball, right? But what happened? What happened? She wasn't fast enough. Mark instead saw her and threw one first. So what happened? Well, Mark threw a snowball. Why did he throw one? Well, he saw she was going to throw one first, right? So the effect here, of course, what happened is that Mark threw a snowball. Why? The cause? Did that happen? Because, well, he saw that she was going to throw it, right? We can look at another sentence as well. This last one. It hit Jan and knocked her down. Well, what happened? Jan was knocked down. Why was she knocked down? Well, she was hit with a snowball, right? So that caused there, she was hit with a snowball. Because she was hit with a snowball, she is knocked down. So we can see here that cause and effect can really be in more than one sentence. Oftentimes we see it in many sentences throughout the story, okay? So you're gonna be doing some reading today in a passage for yourself, and you're gonna work to identify some of the causes and effects that we see. So my friends, without further ado, I am going to let you go for the day. We are going to come back on Friday for our last shared reading. Please, please remember, cause is the why something happens, effect is the what. All right, my super scholars, I'll see you on Friday.